Hello guys, this is Saurabh from Hatrack. So today we are going to explore Git repository system. How we can perform different Git commands on our project like Git push, Git pull, Git stash, Git clone, Git branch. Let's see how it works. Before going ahead, I am going to create one repository. It could be anything, your video, your audio, your text file, your project, Android project file, your Java project file. Python project file could be anything. Let's see how we can do it. So we have created one file. I'm going to give the name for this one. Uh, okay. I'm creating one directory for this one. Um, next, I'm going to create a one text file inside of that one. For that, we are going to use the Atom. So Atom is a it's like the text editor. You can use any editor like uh, for Windows, Notepad is there, Notepad++, plus plus. you can use any ID for this one. So I'm going to start with some basic tool like it's Atom. So how we will create a new file. So I'm going to give the name of file company names. Okay. So here we will write anything like Google. Microsoft. That's it. We will save it inside of our folder. This is our folder, and I'm going to give the name for this file company name. Or it's fine. It's okay. Name .txt. We will save it. Okay. Our file is ready, our project is ready. Next, what we are going to do? We are going to use the terminal command line tool which will perform all the commands. For this, we are going to start terminal at this folder. So it will directly start with the folder. We don't have a need to move by the path. So I have already installed Git on my machine. So how we can do it? We will, I will share the link for that one. So you can learn step by step how we can install Git on your machine. So I'm not going to install here. So I'm directly going to jump. I'm directly going to jump to the demo. So let's see. So before that, we will start with the Git status. The status will give you the status of your repository. It is untracked or untracked state. So currently we do. Uh, you can see here it's a fatal accident, not a Git repository. So it is indicating that this repository is not belong to the Git repository. So before that, we will need to initialize the Git in it. Means Git initializing the Git uh, repository here. Now you can see that this uh, initialized uh, empty Git repository in the, in the folder. Next, we will start the Git status. You can see here. It is showing in a red color, so it is untracked file. So before going that, going ahead, I would like to show you the architecture for this one. What is untracked file? What is it? Uh, this architecture I'm going to paste here. Let's see what is inside of this. So this is the architecture of a Git. How the things has been done here. We will see here. So, which is a working directory? So, currently I am working on the company folder on the company file. So, this is our the local working directory. Staging area. This is the area between of the local repository or the working directory. So, every time Git maintain its local repository system with server repository system. So, before going to the server, it maintain all the things to the local repository system. So, what is the staging area? Whenever we perform, we are writing something in a file and we are not adding to the git file, git add using git add command. So it will still in a your working directory. If you will perform git add, it will come to the staging area, but not in your local repository. For that, to add it to the local repository, we need to perform the git commit so that it will be tracked under the git file. For that one, we need to perform git add operation to our file. 
now if you will see its status it will show you the in green is it is on stage but it is come added to the tag file in next we are going to see how we can perform the git commit command to store the file locally on the git Git commit hyphen n. This is for the message. New file I'm going to be give the random name for this new file added. Now you can see that file is changed. Create mode is company orders. After that, we can perform the git push operation to push the file or your project to the server. Let's see. Push for you. This is the command I will share with you in my blog as well how we can perform this operation. Git push for you. So, here it will give you the fatal exception. The current run master has no upstream branch. So, currently we are performing all the operation to our local machine, it is not yet on the server side. So, for that one we need to create the repository server side also let's see how we can do it so for that one we are going to use the github here you can see that it will give you the new repository option to which you can create your any mp project or any project so i'm going to give the name as our project is company so description company name company demo project I'm making it a private, so you don't have a need to make it public. So, it will create your repository at a server side. So you can see here, it will give you all the command list through which you can perform all the fetch and fetch push pull operation to this to your terminal. Let's see. So, this is a command which will give you the remote URL, it will link, it will point. It will point to your remote URL. So we will just copy and paste it. Now check it with the is it working? It is working perfectly or not? You can see here your origin is set. Now your repository is pointing to your server. Let perform push again. It will again give you the error because we still not have, we still not yet define your repository name here. So now I'm going to give the name for this master. Uh, you can see here the git will start writing object to the server. So here you can see, you can check here. The company text file is here. Or the name of the company is here. So this is the one side of push operation. Now let's see how we can perform the pull operation. Suppose if you, uh, in your project, uh, uh, multiple people are working at the same time and on the different locations. So how they can perform push pull operation? So I'm assuming that another person is performing the, uh, doing some task on the file. So let's see. He has done. He has included one more name is here. Amazon. That's it. it. You can see Amazon is added at the server side or from the different machine. But in my local repository, it is still it is still showing Google, Microsoft. How we can so uh, before starting your work, we should always keep or make sure that uh, we are taking pull before starting any work. So we will take pull from the server. Now you can see here Amazon is automatically updated. Or next, we are going to see how internally it works. For that, we have 
you need to move inside of the project file. This is the file you can see here, only one file is here. So we need to enable all the hidden file of that one. You can see dot git repository the inside of that one. You can see all the git related file has been maintained by the git. So let's see uh, what are the things inside of the test folder. So you can see here the logs, logs related, maintain all the logs related data inside of this folder. I mean, object is here. Object uh, uh, is, uh, is, it is the SHA files. You can see here, it is the encrypted file. Every git related command, like uh, every git related operation, like you perform, like git commit, git add, git push, git pull. This all data related to that one is maintained inside of this object form. So here you can see here B6. Whenever you will perform, it will create a new directory inside of the file. Inside of that one, you can see one SHA file is here. So this is a, these all things that have been maintained by the Git. So let's see what is inside of this one file. Let's move to our terminal back. Wait. Sorry. So let's see. Check. Let's see what is this B6 is here. Sorry, it's my bad. I'm using CD command. It's a file here. We have to use that command for this. Okay. You can see here some data is in different format. It's not in human readable format. Let's see. For this one, we are going to use the git command, git internal command. So, git data file have one field and we will use this four initial values of this path b6 and your initial two field of your SHPs. So b6 and b3. You can see here Amazon is here, Microsoft and Google and all the data we have entered inside of our file. So Let's see another one. What is up inside of the D9? Let's see what is a D9 here. Checks inside of D9. Again, I'm using to do So here you can see some values again in the format. Starting value for this. So here you can see that new file added. We have added new file, and this is the commit. And commit done by the server. So here you can see that how the data has been managed by the uh, the get inside of the objects. This is the log file. Here you can see apps, master, remotes, religion. Let's see what is inside of that one. Okay, this is the git logs. Let it be changes. You can see here. It's back to inside of this one. Add. Then you can see all the changes. New file added done by me so this is the internal part of it how it maintain all the related changes and related changes of the project so let's move ahead with another commands so this is our working directory so now let's move to the git branch how we can create the new branch here we have only one branch so as we know that whenever we are working in an organization, we would have a need of a different branches. One is a stable branch, which we call as a master branch. Another one is the working branch where we, all the developers uh, contribute with, uh, with their codes. So so here we have only master branches here. So we have we need we have a need of another branch. It's, it could be anything. So so we have, let's see how we can create it inside of this one. So, 
So current branches, you can see here, we have a branch command is here. You can check the current branch. It's a master. It's showing here the masters. We will create another branch. The name we are going to, it's a company. Uh, new list. Company, uh, I think we can give it uh, company, new list. Okay. We'll make it another list. We we'll create another branch for the separate branch for the that one. Uh, we will start working on that one. That's it. Get branch. You can see here two branches. You can see here, but it is still yet in the local system. It is not yet on the server side. Let's see. I will show you here. If you will refresh here, you can see only one file is there because we didn't perform push command on this. So. This changes is still on the local machine. Let's move how to switch to the this branch and start working on that one. Let's we have a checkout command for that one. Hit checkout and the file of just copy it and paste it. That's it. Okay. Hit checkout company used. Okay. That was this operation must be done in work. Okay, so currently I'm inside of the dot get directory. We have to move to the directory. So this is our dot get directory. Okay, now we will fire that command here. Now you can see here the switch to the branch company. Here we confirm new file get branch. So now our pointer is pointing to our new working directory. So master is different, company new list is different. So let's see, we will do some changes inside of this one. Uh, we will add here one more name. This is the Amazon, uh, Microsoft, Amazon, uh, okay, DMART. We'll take your DMART. Okay. We will save here. Now again, you will see here file status. You can see one change has been done on this file but it's still not yet added to the git so we will perform here git add dot you do not worry about this ds store it's a mac os specific folder structure so we are not going to use this to we are not it's not related to the project so we are not going to perform add and commit on this one so we can uh, ignore it for now git add company PST. Again, we will next we will perform git commit. New, new, added. This is done. Now we will push this changes because currently we are working on a different directory here. So our current directory is the new branches here. So we will always keep reference for this one so we have got our uh, operation like uh, push if we will perform the push on this we will make sure that we are work pushing to the current uh, uh, we are pushing to the correct directory Wait. push origin and branch name is here so here you can see it will start writing object to the server so new branch you can see it is created on the server side let's move to the server what what are the changes you can see here? So here you can see we have a two different branches here. Master one is master one is a company. Inside of master, you can see here still three value is showing because we have not yet updated all these values. In the inside of the uh, new branch company, you, just, you can see here the DMART is here because we have done few changes inside of this branch. Let's see the other of this. Sorry. So we have seen the different git push, git pull, git uh, status. Uh, one more command is here, git log. It will show you all the history related to the commit. You can see here all the commit with the commit ID, the author who has done who has done this commit, all the changes related to the files. Let's move to the other commands. We're going to clear it all. So. Let's see 
okay we will now we will move to the get stash what is the use of stash so stash uh, is basically require if you don't want to commit your changes you are if you are working on a current directory if you don't want to to uh, the if you don't want to push those changes to the server side then uh, this stash is very useful command for at that time it will store locally uh, without committing the changes and you can switch to the another branch suppose uh, if you are working on the current branch like uh, we have we are working on this this branch new branch company new branch so we are working and we are adding some other names here uh, like apple this is our current branch we have added apple now what we want to do suddenly few changes uh, is uh, reported by your uh, tester that a uh, uh, few uh, things is not working so what we need to do you need to move to the your previous branch and how you can move to the another branch without aborting this change so if you will move to again to the master branch it will not allow you check out master you can see here it will it is, it is showing you the message one message is here please commit your changes stash them before you switch branch so you can't switch before committing your changes so if you still you want to do though uh, still you want to switch branch without the committing the file then you have an option for the get stash so what it will do it is stash it will stash your changes you can stash and stash whenever you require so get stash save we are saving it like a, a new apple name added for identification and we will give the mail passage to this one working directory and the state of company the apple is name added here so if you will see you can see here this chain has been removed because now your uh, remote directory and your local directory is in the same thing the, the same now you can perform here get checkout master here before my, moving to master i want to show you how stash maintaining this file so get stash is here you can see what are the stash changes inside of the file so here you can see stash zero complete this new apple name it is added so it is stored inside of the stash let's move to the other branch Hit check on master now you can move to another branch you can see here is the state of your master branch and now you want to fix that issues and something like uh, some work is related to that one like uh, we will add another name is here so okay. let's look here okay so again without committing change we want to move again to our uh, if uh, another branch the name is company list okay then it will not allow you then again you need to stash those changes for first one stash stash save get the uh, master what changes we have done Nokia added Nokia added that's it so you can see here it will move to this uh, remote directory state let's see uh, now again now we can perform this switch and we can move to uh, this branch now again our directory is different one you can see here this is the state of our new uh, company new list directory state so now now we want to unstash those changes we want to uh we want to revert those changes that we have done in a stash so let's see how we can do it get a stash get a stash stash list as you can see here so these two stash you can see here we want to this one inside of this file because we have performed this operation inside the master located but we, we have a need of this one for that one we will keep we will copy this id from here uh, get stash pop operation is required for that one stash pop now you can see here 
you can see apple is again back to this file that's it now what you will do next you will go again get at operation get push and get all the values to the server side get at file name company.txt get commit hyphen m apple added file chain and you can push in to the server get push get push for each company sorry company new list push fail does not match any okay did I do something wrong okay spelling mistake is here All changes is done. Let's check server side here. Apple is added here. So this one is the get stash command. How we can use it inside our project. So it completely hold your changes and in the form of stash and unstash those changes after the your work is done in the other branch. Let's see the next. So okay, we I have mentioned one file for you. This I will share with my blog as well. You can see all the command related things. So here what we have covered till now. So get in it, repository we have done, get known details letter, get add we have done, get add star, star you can perform. Uh, it is useful whenever you want to perform uh, git add command on the all the files. So you start this command at one or more with the staging areas. So git commit we have seen git difference. Git difference we can see here. So git difference will give you the difference between the server repository state and your current state. Like we are adding here one more six. Uh, okay, Suppose we are adding one file is here. Uh, like it could be anything. Okay. Let's one plus one plus adding here. So you will see here you perform the difference. So you all the difference in between. Apple is minus and plus you can see here. One plus, you can see here, one plus is added. So it will show you the difference between the files, the server files and your local files. So this is the git difference command is here. So next, uh, git reset, you will see it better. Git rm, it will remove the directory. So all this command you can try at your home. Git branch, we have git check or we have git march, you will see it very, very useful command is here. Git push, we have seen git remove, add, if this is the link if you want to change your remote repository link and the pointer that will be. at that time this is a very useful link git pull command is there pull we have seen it is test related order so in inside of test we have not seen this one git test drop if you want to drop your changes uh, whatever the stash you have done um, maintain your stash so if you want to drop those changes you don't want to apply those changes inside your file then definitely then then you can use this command so that before that one you need to check the stash the stash pop Sorry, stash list is here. You can see here one stash is here. I want to drop it, I don't want to take it inside my file. So, how will do it? So, we'll see here get stash pop and this one about in because current branch is our this one is not our cover branch, current branch. So, get branch you can see because it's related to the branch master branch. So, we need to do to this branch first. Get check out but before that I think it will not allow you because commit will change it will show you because we have added here one negative one plus so for that one we need to perform all the uh, get add okay complete complete txt get commit mm. 
new month was added. Added by chain get for two region. So region is new. Continue. check out here yes, because we want to avoid those changes we have kept inside of your master branch get check out check out master so here we will see here get stash stash let's see here stash As you can see here, master loop here added is here. You can see I want to drop this chain, I don't want to be what inside of a file. I want to put, uh, apply on this file. So, what we will do is get drop this chain because we don't want to apply on the file. Get, get stash drop and this file name. You can see here, drop the stash this value. Now, if we will again, we will fire this command list. You can't see any. Uh, related stash so again this one is the things we have seen let's perform the git uh, merge command is here git okay before merge i think uh, branch is done git stash pull is done push remote merge check out check out we will see the term tag tag we will see also not now Git log we have seen the status with set git defense we have seen git commit we have seen clone in it git config so two three command we are going to see later so for that let's perform the merge command is here how we can do it because it's very useful command it's very required whenever we are working on a different directory we want to uh, apply those changes in your master directory so currently we have we have two different branches master it's your release, it could be your release branch, it could, or uh, this is your working directory, or it's a development, we can name it a development branch. So, if you want to development ready change inside the master branch, so we need to perform the merge operation here. So, how we can do it, we can perform the server side or as also, we can do it the locally also. So, let's see how we will do it. First of current branches, get so we need branch master currently we have the master so get branch get merge company list You can see the merge operation has been done and the changes related to the things have been affected as well. Let's do the changes. So currently, current state of our project is service. You will see here we have Amazon like only three values inside of the master. That's a fresh three by only three values inside of the master. And you can see here one plus D mart minus we have other values. So this two values or three values. Okay? Merge inside of the master branch, so we have done merge operation, but it is yet in local file. What we will do again, we have to perform the all operation get tag inside of the file complete tag get commit with hyphen m. So you can name it merge perform. perform. 
now we need to form post operation name get post origin master you can see here it has been pushed to the server if you will see here this is your current branch if you will go to the master you can see all the value has been reflected in this master branch as well so this is the merge command we have seen here let's move to the another one what else is remaining inside of this one so i will share all this command related list inside my blog as well Get add we have seen git clone git reset git remove it's we know that it's uh, to remove the file just to get rm and your file in company which you will perform it will delete your file git log we have seen it show commit it's a little metadata and contain change for the specified commit so git tag let's see this git tag command is how it works so git tag is that definitely means a very uh, uh, useful command for us because whenever we are performing we are doing release uh, build release we need to keep track all the related to the release so what are the what are the things inside of that particular version we need to maintain inside of a tag so whenever we will we will release our build we will create a tag for that version specific so it will be helpful for us in the future to track those changes so let's see how we can do it so we have done the push command in here so what the tag we will name it like the current branches get branch so current branch is a master so let's suppose this is our development directory is here so, so we want to make a tag for this one so what we will do get check out first go to branch so company new list get check out Our branch and branches. Now you can see pointers pointing to the branch. You can now we'll perform the git tag to save the current state of your project. So current state is our this. You can see the five files is here. So we will perform them. Git tag. Uh, you can name it anything like uh, release version one. Yeah, uh, one you can see. Okay, fail to resolve this version one. You try to. You can see what are the tags we have created here. The one is the company list. This is a list. So we have performed list here. That's why you can see. So, so now, in the next, what we have to do? It is yet in the local system. We need to push it to the server side. Get push tag. Let's see. Is it a Right, let's see right for you. Push origin. So you can see here, new tag is created on the server side. So whatever the current state of your project will be maintained by the server in the form of a tag in the future if, if you have a requirement to go uh, to track those changes you can just go to the tag tag you can check out those tag and you can see those changes and you can see those files so just refresh it here inside of a tag you can see one tag is created company list is here so this is the tag command we have seen it's very useful for us 
the next let's see what is remaining inside of next we are going to see our other command as well like uh, the username how we can change the username and the email of the configuration file so let's see how we can do it so, so currently get we will perform this operation get config iPhone high global user dot name you can change it you can name it anything let's keep it here anything like uh, hat right suppose hat right in here not content section global okay. This is the mistake. No. So we have done. So one is a global, one is a local. If you want to change the repository level, then you need to specify it as the so as a local. If you want to change your globally, then you can perform the local operation as well. Yes, yes. Now we can change is it change or not? We'll see here. You can see here name is hat track still there is here but we have not performed we have not changed yet so you can see here with both of them with name and the name is you can change it here so that's it guys for the today and uh, we will see how we can perform this operation through the UI we will use Android Studio for that one but in the next video Thanks.